All right. Good afternoon. I'm Liz Schuler. I'm the secretary treasurer of the National AFL-CIO and thrilled to be here representing 12 and a half million working men and women all throughout the country. And of course, AFSCME being one of our largest affiliates, I'm so honored to be here uh, to participate with you and see the power on this stage. Look at it. It's amazing. Um, and I want to thank Nick, of course, uh, and for his leadership and all the work that SIX undertakes every single day. Uh, and this convening couldn't be better timed, right? Um, and you've been a fantastic partner. So uh, the benefit of speaking last, I suppose, is everything has been said. Uh, <laughs> and I'm speaking after Reverend Barber. Um, but uh, I just wanted to say to all of the dedicated state officials, uh, legislative officials we have here today, thank you for all of your tireless efforts because you are where the rubber meets the road, really. And we truly count on you at the state level because we know your leadership is more important now than ever. Uh, and I can't help but be, give special thanks to Jennifer Williamson behind me because she's from my home state, so I get to to single her out because I grew up in Oregon. But really, Oregon uh, has a great example of what we should be doing all across the country. And I would say there are, there are laboratories of work all across the country that we should be emulating. And that's the point, right? Um, and really putting forward this blueprint is an opportunity to harness all of that. And it reflects the key values of the labor movement and the key values of the progressive community. So that's what's so exciting about it. And it speaks to the needs of working and middle class families of all races, all religions and cultures. And it's straightforward. That's what I like about it. Three planks, right? It's not a, you know, a, we don't need a hand truck to deliver it, right? It's supporting working families, including health care, retirement and paid leave. Providing economic opportunity for all. And that's easy to summarize. Two words, good jobs. And finally, creating a level playing field for all, including fair tax policy and policing of the rules. So that blueprint does reflect the issues we hear about from our members every single day. But what's different is it has a strategy attached to it. And it actually has a base of support attached to it. And I guess the big question is, with so much noise, so much fake news, around uh, to distract us, how do we break through? How do we break through and reach working families on the issues that matter? And we have the game plan, you've rolled it out. So now it's getting the execution right, right? Like getting the power of all of us to come together as a team. Because we all have different roles and perspectives and skills, as was mentioned earlier. And no one organization or constituency can do this alone. We know that. So it's going to take a lot of working people coming together, and we know the issues, right? They were all mentioned earlier, health care, good jobs, secure retirement, educational opportunities. And no matter what community you're in, those are the themes we hear over and over again. And I know I travel just like the rest of you to many corners of this country during the election. But the point is we need to make the blueprint come alive. We need to get the words off the page, and it's going to happen at the state and local level. That is where the action is. So we're following your lead here in Washington, D.C. And we know we're going to do a lot of rear guard action, right? And Lee will, will echo this, that we know the fights are coming on right to work and prevailing wage and paycheck deception. But we want to stay the course and continue to be proactive and be positive and on the offense, right? to secure wages and educational opportunities and, and mobilize to protect health care and paid leave and equal pay for women and advance the policies that really our families care about. And there's so much to mention, but I think we've all said it all. Um, so we just want to signal to you that from the AFL-CIO, from the highest levels, all throughout the country, through our 50 state federations and central labor councils, that we're with you and we're ready to fight for the future of this country. Thank you.